New merch. Anti-social marimba club. Yes, it's on the back as well. <laughs> I've been wanting to make one of these for a really, really long time. But yes, you can cop this merch right now. AdamTambercussion.com forward slash merch. Welcome back to the channel once again. Hope you've been well. Hope you've been staying safe. And yes, it's getting really close to my pacing trip now. Literally like a month away. I'm going to be heading to Korea and then to Indianapolis. It's just so much to think about. But yeah, if you want to keep up to date with my travels, I will be uploading PASIC vlogs. That is like vlogs of the actual convention and videos about the convention on this channel, the percussion channel. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button below to keep up my uploads. And also converse to what I said in the previous videos, I'm actually moving back to my old vlog channel for the remainder of the trips videos. So I'm going to be producing some Korean vlogs as well as some vlogs in the US when I go and perform my solo recital in San Jose. So you can check those out at adamtimepercussion.com forward slash vlogs. But once again, we're back with another Let's Watch. As I said in previous videos, I'm trying to get through as many submissions as I can, but if you ever want to submit more videos, make sure you go to adsamplicationcom forward slash discord. That's the discord server where there's still just so many people active. I think we're close to a thousand members now, and we're also Fun fact, close to 30,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you so much for all of your support this year. But yeah, the year has actually gone by really fast. I can't believe it's almost the end of the year already. It feels like literally last week that I had my birthday party in May. <laughs> but in any case, once again, thank you for following me along on this journey. Now, our first submission is Alan Purpose. Hey guys, my name is Alan and I recently recorded Pius's composition Prelude in G minor. I would appreciate it if you guys watched it and gave feedback or just let me know what you think in general. Again, this is what I really love about our Discord server is being able to give feedback because there is a feedback section, but also just being open to feedback as someone who submitted the video. That's a really big thing. So well done, Alan. I learned this piece in about a week and a half. That's really fast. So it was really testing my memorization for the short period for myself. A couple of mistakes here and there for sure, but I'm happy with the recording. Well, I'm really excited to check this out because I haven't heard a pious piece in a while. Let's watch. Yeah, here's the video and this percussion room looks almost like the percussion room I used to study in. Uh, back at my university, the practice room was really small and this one is pretty small too. It seems like the marimba is like end to end. But yeah, we do have what looks like a Yamaha marimba, I'm guessing. Is this Pius' school? You owe? Those mallets, I have no idea what they are, but they look very small headed. And Alan looks like he's playing traditional grip. Is that traditional grip? I think this prelude was the one that Pius made that was supposed to be a four and a third octave prelude. So Pius's pieces are generally speaking five octave pieces. And this one is a four and a third one, which is very unusual. But yeah, it was a really cool piece when it came out, I think in like 2017, and I'm really keen to see someone play it. Let's go. go. Wow, good voicing. Wow, those runs are so hard. <laughs> Lots of independent mallet. Oh, I love that, that drop turn at the end. That's really nice. I think it would be nice if you could hit the middles of the bass notes a little bit more. I feel like they're like the accidentals. But your accuracy is really good. Wow. Woo! Wow, there's... Oh, I love your dynamic contrast. Yeah, now you're hitting the bases in the middle, it sounds so much better. This sounds like Pius's uh, Rhapsody's Rhapsody arrangement. <laughs> Woo! Wow, it's so smooth. Alan, this is so smooth. There's like very few, I can hear like a couple of wrong notes, but we're talking like one or two here and there. Oh, very nice soft drop on that run. Well, that was great. <laughs> it was over so quickly. Before I say anything, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Alan's performance. That was really well prepared. Everything is like really accurate. I think with Pius's pieces, he really likes having that sort of really heavy feel, especially, you know, in those big octave sections. Dun, 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 dun. 
I feel like there should be like some more weight. And although I can see you're trying to get it and it's happening to an extent, I feel like there could be even more if you had um, maybe heavier mallets or something that could just get more of that fundamental, that big bass noise, that big resonator sound and a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say aggressiveness, but just like more ferocity because it doesn't seem like you know this probably doesn't seem like it's something that's very gentle and very hee hee no i think it's actually like something that's pretty intense so it would be nice to see a little bit more intensity i was gonna say earlier in the video when you first started you had some of the uh, bass notes on the accidental notes they were on the edge now that might have been a deliberate choice maybe you were going for that kind of sound which is totally fine. I personally would have thought it would have been nice to have it right in the middle. But otherwise, I don't really have much to fault. Like, it sounds really good. The tempo is really good. It's flowing really well. I don't think any of your rubatos were, like, over the top, as some people like to do with Pius's pieces. It's like every single phrase is like, let's slow down by... 245%, but yours is actually really good. It's very stylistically appropriate and it still showcases you, which is just the best thing about solo marimba. I love it so much. Once again, let me know down in the comments below what you thought and thank you so much, Alan, for submitting your video for feedback. It's so good. Okay, the next submission is also a marimba solo. It's from Nathan Defense. Hi all, earlier today I performed Anna Chu's simple song at my school's weekly performance lab. It's not a perfect run, but I'm pretty happy with how it went. Any feedback is appreciated. Now, I know Anna watches my videos, so if Anna, if you're watching these videos maybe you can also leave your comments down below of what you think of this but i personally think simple song is one of the best pieces that art has ever written yeah i'm really keen to check out this video so uh, let's watch okay here's the video and as we can see we are on stage uh, that is a yamaha ym 5100 which i recently put as a b tier <laughs> instrument in my tier list worth a try if you haven't checked out my tier list video, it's over here. But yeah, I can't really see what the mallets are. They're, I think they're van sizes. They look like van sizes. And the side of the marimba, I just noticed, is really banged up. <laughs> it seems like it's been banged into a few things. But in any case, we're here to watch Arna's piece, and we're here to watch Nathan's version of Arna's piece. So let's go. Oh. I like the stance. Okay. It's a really good tempo, very accurate. I would say the mallet choice is a little bit on the hard side, but I'm just being picky, I think. I like that you're taking time with the rests. Oh, wow, very nice. I like the lift, that's cool. Wow, so accurate. I would say, the, again, the mallet's brightness kind of makes it very articulate sounding, but maybe that's what you're going for. Wow, those runs are, are hard and you... Wow, the accuracy though. It's, oh. oh, I like the slowdown, very nice. It, it was a little bit hard towards that climax, but it's not bad. Ooh, this part sounds nice. I like the contrast between the loud and soft. I think the voicing can be a little bit more separated. We're hearing a lot of the accompanying voices. I feel like this part's meant to be a bit more climactic, right? Mm, I'll talk more about this later on. But yeah, this is... It's really accurate. And yeah, I like that you're getting lower to the marimba to make it easier to hit. That's nice. And it's very clear. Yeah, well done. Good placement as well. Wow, this suddenly got really fast. <laughs> So a few, a few rim shots, I think. That did feel a little bit on the rushed side, just a little bit. Um, I think if you took it a bit slower, it might have been more open and you might have been able to space it out a bit better. That's okay. This part's nice. 
I like how you're trying to bring out the top voice here. That's really good. Wow, that was really hard. <laughs> Arna's piece is so good. How, how good is Arna at writing? Like, seriously. I reckon you could lift the mallets to, like, phrase these visually as well. Instead of just kind of leaving it there. Yeah, like that, like that. That's good. Yeah. yeah it's such a good piece. <laughs> it's actually such a good piece. Yeah. It's just really good writing. And yeah, you're doing a much better job of bringing out the voices in this section, I think. Nice. Oi. I reckon you could have taken a little bit more time with the ending notes, could have left them a bit longer, but yeah, very nice. Very nice. I'll turn with the hand run. <laughs> Okay, well let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the performance and Arno, if you're watching, let me know what you thought of this performance. I'd love to hear the composer's insights. Okay, firstly, Nathan, you've learned the piece really well. Like you've got the accuracy down pat and you've got the pacing, generally speaking, it feels like really solid and like constant, not too much rushing, except for that middle climax point I was talking about. I felt like that was a little bit... I felt like that octave section was a little bit on the fast side, um, maybe a bit too fast because you were hitting a, a few rims here and there and also it just felt a bit frenetic. The octave part just didn't quite sit as well but the other parts were quite good. I would have also liked to see maybe the last three chords, the last part you finish. It did feel kind of rhythmic, like almost too rhythmic and I wasn't really sure if it was the end or not. <laughs> I always find that if you have very simple endings to pieces, try and make them a little bit more special because it's the end. Like you gotta be proud of your performance and you gotta hold your audience. I think there's this like performance psychology thing where basically the audience remembers the last thing they hear the most. And your last notes were correct and everything but they just were over very quickly <laughs> so I kind of just didn't really think about it. Otherwise, yeah, I think overall, yeah, your preparation is really good. You did have some good voicing moments as well where you were trying to bring out the top voice. There were some parts though, especially the lateral sections where your accompanying notes tend to blend, in my opinion, a little bit too much. And I think because Anna's style is that sort of music where you have a lot of texture, but the voices tend to come out, they jump out at you and it's very vocally, it's like it comes out and it's very beautiful and you need to sort of bring out those voices as well, otherwise it kind of just becomes texture, <laughs> like a big mass of texture. I think the mallet choice is a little bit on the articulate side, which is okay for like the softer sections, but when we got to the louder sections, I could see it felt like you were trying to hold back like the octave section. <laughs> It felt like you were holding back to make it not sound harsh, which is really nice, it's a really good thing to do, but it also means you can't go as hard with the weight. You can't have weighted strokes when you have really small hard mallets, because if you go with a weighted stroke, it goes bang, and you get this really like harsh attacky sound. So I think it might be worth trying with some heavier, warmer mallets, and you would be able to use a little bit more weight, you could go a little bit harder, and you wouldn't have to worry about getting a harsh sound. But overall, Nathan, really good performance, like it wasn't overly mechanical, it wasn't stale, it had your personality in it. Once again, let me know down in the comments below what you thought and if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much again to Nathan for submitting this video. But yeah, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to keep up my uploads because I'll be making more videos like this and as I'm gone, I'm hopefully gonna have some videos that I'm going to make in advance so that I can upload them while I'm on my little break in Korea and then while I'm performing in America, I'll drop a couple more. And then when I come back, I'll be posting some basic vlogs, which is just gonna be like, it's just so much awesome content coming up. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.